Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am sitting in my new room, which you guys probably cannot tell because it kind of looks like my old room because it's like the same furniture, but I am sitting at an angle that you guys cannot see everything that I added in here. For those of you who have not been up to date with me, basically my older sister is moving out and that means that I'm going to be taking over her old room, so I'm going to be moving my bed in here and it's the bigger room of the two, so I wanted to kind of use her room or my new room as like my chill spot to sleep and relax. I didn't want to get ready in here. I didn't want to do my makeup in here. I just wanted this to be strictly like a comfy chill room. And then I wanted my old room to be my closet slash glam room. That's what I'm going to be calling it for my wardrobe, makeup, skincare, hair care, all that types of stuff. Since my room is fairly smaller than this one, I feel like that just suits the best. Obviously, my bed is like the biggest piece of furniture I have, so it would just make sense to put it over here. Also, I have Hollywood lights and a bunch of stuff screwed on the wall in there for my makeup vanity that wouldn't be worth moving it, you know? I bought new furniture for over there as well, but that will be in the next couple videos to come. But this video is going to be a renovation of this room, so taking my sister's old furniture out, cleaning it, and then putting in my stuff. However, I did want to make a separate final room tour so that you guys could kind of see the final result, but I know there are lots of people that do like transformation videos and cleaning videos, so that's kind of more so this video. And then my next video will be the final result of everything, and then after that, I will start working on my glam room, which by the time I'm filming this intro, everything is completely done. Um, and it looks all amazing, so I cannot wait for you guys to see it. It's been kind of delayed. We've been working on it for the last couple of weeks. It took a week for this room and about a week and a half for that room. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the transformation. So we're first going to start by moving out all of my sister's furniture from her room. We already took the TV off the wall and we're going to make sure this room is completely empty before I start moving any of my furniture in. I did just get finished assembling the furniture that I got at Ikea. I put together my two nightstands as well as a shoe organizer that is going to be going in here. Also, most of this furniture she's going to be taking as well. She is leaving some things like that desk she's not taking as well as the Hollywood lights. I'm probably going to add to my glam room so I can have like a full set of Hollywood lights instead of just on the sides. I've always wanted a bedroom with a bed and then two nightstands on each side with like cute matching lamps. I like hotel vibes. I don't know. I always really, really liked that and it was a dream of mine, but my room was just way, way too small, especially with the big makeup vanity I have. And even if I didn't have that big makeup setup, I feel like the way my windows and my closets are arranged, it would just never work. Before I move all my furniture in, I am going to like deep clean the room, I'm probably going to steam clean the carpets, I'm going to be dusting, I'm, I'll need to probably spackle and repaint as well as just dust through the windows, just some basic cleaning. This room is officially empty, it is so much bigger than my room, so I'm really excited to have this be like my living and chill out space and then have like the medium sized room for like my glam and makeup, wardrobe. So we just had the biggest fiasco getting this big bed frame with a headboard into this room because the way our rooms are set up, let me show you. This is my door and this is her door. It's right around a corner and it's not like you can just swing it in because there is a wall literally right here. I'm gonna clean out these drawers just because they're super dirty from not being able to get at them just because some drawers weren't accessible with my old room setup so they just accumulated lots of dust. So the particular bed frame I have is from Ikea and this is actually a style that didn't have the drawers underneath with tracks so they kind of just have wheels and they roll and since I don't have hardwood floors I have carpet sometimes if the drawer is heavy it's really hard to pull out and two of these wheels actually broke and since I'm going to have nightstands on each side of my bed now I'm not going to be able to access two drawers which is what I had before anyway so I'm going to put the broken drawer in the one that I'm like never going to pull out. I'm probably just going to put some like junk stuff in here that I still want to keep but I don't use like basically ever. I 
honestly might pull an all-nighter. I do have work tomorrow because it's Sunday, like I said, but I don't go into work until later, so I'm probably going to be up for a while. And I finally have my outlets in this room, you guys. I have two outlets just on one wall. I have an outlet over there and an outlet over here, so a total of four outlets. In my room right now, I literally only have two outlets, and they're on opposite sides of the wall, so I have an extension cord running from one side for my TV. I'm going to start organizing my drawers. I do want to have both the usable drawers that are accessible to have my pajamas in on both of them and here's gonna go all of my bags for travel and I literally only travel like once maybe twice a year so um, all this will fit in here perfect and as much as I still love sparkly stuff and rhinestones I do feel like that should stay in its own separate room just because now that I'm getting older not that rhinestones are like getting outdated or that i'm outgrowing them because i'm not but as i'm getting older i don't want that to be like the theme of my room i want that to kind of be like for my aesthetic like my glam but not like my everyday living go to sleep in like rhinestones you know so i'm gonna make this bedroom theme kind of just white and gray simplistic and then have my glam room be its own have its own moment also this is going to be the furniture that i'm going to be taking to my house as well when i move out so um Although like these two nightstands are new, I'm gonna be taking the bedroom as well. So I tried to keep everything nice while moving, and like didn't wanna ding it up and just like get it in here, you know. These Target bins are literally perfect for in here, if you guys can't see. It fits exactly six, like, to the T, so I need to get four more of the clear ones for the other side, because I only have two left. I'm going to organize the other side with the bins that I have, just for now. Her closet is even a lot bigger than mine. She even has a shelf, which I always wanted in my closet, but it was just too narrow. And I have an attic door in mine, and it's like a slanted ceiling. Although I did get this piece of furniture from Ikea when I just went yesterday, and it's like a shoe organizer. So I ordered a PlayStation 4 wall mount, and that's basically what my dad's putting on right now. He just got done putting up my TV wall bracket, which you guys have not seen what size TV I got yet. Just know that it's huge, and I'm saving it for the final reveal, so... You'll definitely have to go to my next video for the room tour to see it. Also, my dad was able to install an outlet right under the TV for me, just so you wouldn't see the wires coming down to the below outlet, and that was kind of the whole idea with the PlayStation 4 wall mount anyways, so there wouldn't be, like, any cords. It is Saturday, a couple days later, and I also bought these curtain lights that I'm going to string on this wall, which is, like, right next to my bed. It's kind of like an empty, awkward type of wall. I'm gonna have my circle chair sitting here with a blanket basket. So these are warm white, they're from Target. They were both 15, so 30 bucks for a whole wall of lights I think is pretty good. This is probably the last thing I'm gonna show you guys for this like video and then I'll end up doing a final room tour of everything 100% completed and all together. I ended up putting the twinkling lights above my bed just because the laying thing was like really weird and it fits literally perfect up here. I have two strung up here so it's like not sparse or too thin and there's multiple different settings for the lights I got from Target. They have like twinkling, they have flashing, they have just regular lights and I think it goes perfect. So I'm going to put on my white comforter now and make my bed and finalize the room. I moved 
moved some stuff around since the last time you guys saw. I did end up hanging this sparkly painting over here that was from my glam room just because I don't think I'm going to have enough room for this big of a painting. And it does fill up this wall since I ended up putting the fairy lights above my bed. I have my final comforter on and for the final reveal you guys are going to have to go to my next video which will be up in the next couple of days. And when it is uploaded it'll be in the description so keep checking back on that. So that is where I'm going to end off this video. I am saving the final touches and decor pieces for the room tour when everything's all completed and 100% together and clean. Like I mentioned, that will be in my next video, so subscribe and stay tuned for that. As far as content, the whole month of November is going to be me putting out these transformation videos between this room and the other one, and then December will start my holiday videos with Christmas shopping, Black Friday, hauls, and all of that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of this over the next month and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.